嗰陣時咧，如果係宣揚話要節育咧，都相當困難嘅、呃。我時時咧要去俾誒、呃、講誒、呃、lecture 啊咁啊嚇。尤其是我記得喺婦聯會講完咧，佢哋咧好多男性都話話、呃、我哋咧係覺得咧仲係開枝散葉，百子千孫。Hong Kong is a predominantly Chinese society. The belief in having big families was deep-seated among the older generation. 生咗八个女，咁你知啦，中国人嘅传统都系要有个男丁继后香灯噶嘛。第九个真系仔啦，咁于是乎就唔再追啦。佢有九兄弟姊妹噶。The birth control campaign launched by the Family Planning Association of Hong Kong in 1970s. Was a courageous endeavor to uproot the centuries-old preference for large and extended families. Two goals are set. 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 咁我哋都係喺嗰度第一次接觸到家庭計劃指導會。FPAHK was founded in 1950 at a time when Hong Kong faced a population explosion fueled by a continuous influx of mainland Chinese immigrants. The awareness of family planning was low. The promotion of birth control was an imminent challenge. I think the Family Planning Association has some very timely and effective tasks at that time. We are promoting the use of contraception. I think we are talking about the quality is more important than the quantity. So I think they are advocating that I mean, two is enough, I mean two is good, and which is echoing to the, what we call the demographic theory. I mean if, you, if every woman can produce two babies, I think that will sustain the population growth in the future. The concept of family planning quickly took root in a couple of decades. The mean parity of Hong Kong families dropped from 3.3 in 1972 to 2.1 in 1987. 即係一早就 plan 定都係一個起兩個子噶啦。咁尤其是阿仔仔出咗世之後咧，發覺咧誒要全職湊佢咧，就要付出嗰啲精神同體力咧，其實都好大啊。咁無論誒經濟上啊，或者其他資源咧，都希希望。俾得滿足啲佢啦，所以就決定最後都係爭一個就再冇追落去啦。我覺得而家香港嗰啲父母都比較開放㗎啦，就唔會話一定話要你傳宗接代啊，因為係你哋自己嘅生活，係你哋自己嘅家庭，咁佢覺得冇所謂。<笑> late marriages and late pregnancies are increasingly common nowadays. It is even more important to encourage couples to plan and prepare for their family early. But whether to have a big or small family, it would be the voluntary and informed consensus of individual couples. 不过呢份天赐嘅喜悦唔系必然，系要预早计划。The earliest days were the hardest days. FPAHK depended much on person-to-person -person motivation by few workers to spread family planning messages, which were much unheard among the people. Many Chinese believe that the, uh, more children means more blessing, especially sons. In order to um, change people's concept, is not that easy. It's not overnight business. So it takes a long time to persuade a family. To change their concept. At one time, we have 40 few workers just to go to the um, the squatters, resettlement areas, hospitals, uh, maternity and child health center, schools, markets, and wherever there's people, uh, our workers will go uh, to talk about family planning. The field work team even went as far as to the Vietnamese refugees camps and boat people detention centers in remote areas and outlying islands to provide family planning services. The need is quite a lot. For example, if they are in the middle, they will be fighting. I've seen many times they will put the nuclear bombs. The nuclear bombs, if they are blowing up and blowing up, they will be able to fly. 都係一啲受害嘅。咁另外一個咧就係入刑啦，好搖嘅。咁好多時咧，好多人咧都會即係暈船浪嘅時候咧，就都幾慘嘅。啲醫生啊，一提到話要出海咧，個。
嗰日咧特別緊張啊，嗰晚黑瞓唔著嘅。要學到越南南文嚟到家居位，咁啊嗰個時候佢哋就有咗 B B， 咁啊我哋家居位咧就嗰啲姑娘好熱心，因為佢哋唔識講越南話，咁啊仲要有一個翻譯嚟，咁啊佢哋頭上好多濕啦。我印象最深嘅就姑娘就用好多方法啦，用毛巾啊，用嗰啲嘢幫佢包住啊，放噴啲嘢啊，咁啊。咁啊，也唔怕污浊啊，咁样嘅，咁啊，我都几感动嘅。When there were large numbers of women from the mainland settling in Hong Kong in the 1990s, FBA staff made door-to-door -door visits to these women to enhance their sexual and reproductive health awareness. 其实喺倾嘅过程之中咧，其实好多都会系关心诶仔女嘅诶学业啦，生活上嘅困难啦，吓或者系住屋嘅问题。咁但係對自己嗰個誒婦女健康咧就比較忽視啲嚇，或者唔係咁睇得咁重嚇，或者都唔知喺邊度做檢查。咁變相咧，我哋做咗一個主動嚇，咁呢個嘅工作計劃咧就可以去誒帶翻個信息俾佢知嚇，知道咧誒定期做檢查嗰種嘅重要性，同埋咧如果你係要照顧仔女，要解決生活上嘅困難咧，就一定係要誒照顧好自己個健康先。PAHK was a pioneer in the advocacy for women's health in Hong Kong. The catchy slogan, annual checkup to put your mind at ease, which widely spread in the 1980s, is still remembered today. The awareness of women's health has since been much enhanced. Mrs. Chan, shouldn't you come next year? I'm just with my friend. <laughs> Have an annual checkup to put your mind at ease. In 1992, FPAHK conducted the first territory-wide survey on women's health to study the state of women's health, their health knowledge and living habits in Hong Kong. It was to facilitate the government and healthcare organizations to develop comprehensive women's health education and services. Through years of continuous educational, promotional and concerted advocacy efforts with various NGOs, the government launched a population-based cervical screening program in 2004. Since 1983, both the incidence and mortality rates of cervical cancer in Hong Kong are on the decline. Uh, increased awareness among the South female population and the more positive uptake of cervical cancer screening are probably uh, important contributing factors. The Family Planning Association has been actively promoting cervical cancer screening and is actually one of the major providers of the service. Undoubtedly, the association has played a key role in promoting the health of our female population in general and cervical cancer prevention in particular. FPAHK has in recent years stepped up public education on HPV vaccine and encouraged teenagers and women suitable to get vaccination as the first line of prevention against cervical cancer. FPA is the main provider for cervical cancer screening in Hong Kong. And just last year, we have over 50,000 cervical cancer screening psychology to women. And in the past year, we also introduced a new technology, HPV vaccine. Last year, we have over 2,700 doses to women in Hong Kong. Women's health needs vary at different stages of life, from puberty through premarital, then childbearing years to menopause. As a healthcare advocate, FPAHK keeps expanding its scope of services to meet a met needs regarding women's health. Ask us, we're the youth healthcare center. Whatever you need or want to know, we can explain. So come to the youth healthcare center. We have answers. The Youth Healthcare Centre was set up in 1986 in response to the growing sexual and reproductive needs of single youths below the age of 26. This is an innovative service and provided for medical and counselling care that was unique in Hong Kong at that time. The service was much needed by the young people who were confronted with sensitive medical, sexual and psychological problems for which they have difficulty resolving in any ordinary clinic in the 80s. In 1987, FPAHK launched the Primarital Package Service, the first of its kind in Southeast Asia. This service combines primarital medical checkups and education to prepare about wet couples for marriage. 
For couples prepared to raise a family, it offers pre-pregnancy preparation service, which combines pre-pregnancy checkups and counseling. In 1999, FPAHK introduced the first menopause service in Hong Kong to cater to the special needs of menopausal women. It has also been dedicated to promoting menopausal care and bone health through public education. FPAHK's early service for men was primarily on birth control. To this day, it has developed into a comprehensive range of primary men's health services. In 2001, FPAHK opened the first well man clinic in Hong Kong. It provides health screening and laboratory tests for detecting, preventing, and treating some common diseases, especially sexual and reproductive health problems, among men at an early stage, thus promoting the well-being of men. Man, Negative beliefs and attitudes towards sex are as detrimental as sexual dysfunctions to the couple's sexual harmony, marital relationship, and even family life. In 2007, FPAHK launched the Holistic Sex Therapy, which uniquely comprises medical care, counseling, and sex coaching to help couples overcome sexual life problems. Over 350 couples were served from 2007 to 2009.